Hello and welcome to the chemistry topic, Atoms and Elements, Lesson 4, Symbols and Formula. We are going to take a look at all the different symbols. You can see some there, um, and these are often found in the periodic table. Then we're going to look at the formulae that these symbols can form when they make compounds. And we're also going to look at how you write the equations, and we'll have a go at balancing some. Um, so uh, you've got, what have you got there? You've got eight symbols and they're all found in the periodic table, okay? So the periodic table contains all the elements we know. There's two symbols there, mercury and sodium. And as we've said, the elements are represented with symbols, but you can see from there, mercury, the symbol for mercury is Hg, and the symbol there for sodium is Na. So it's important to say that the symbols in the periodic table aren't always the letters of the element's name, although, for example, lithium is, it's L-I. So don't just assume, be really careful with it, okay? And some you'll just learn really quickly. Sodium you will learn, um, oxygen you will know, magnesium you will begin to learn as well. Even though it's not M-A, it is M-G. And when you get to doing your GCSEs, you will have a periodic table to be able to identify them when you're doing any tests. OK, and you hopefully in your science lessons already, you will have seen um, an example of a periodic table. So um, that's your elements. Rem reminding you that a compound is two or more elements that have chemically combined. So water, that compound shown by the formula H2O, water is made up of oxygen and hydrogen, those two elements. OK, and with that formula there, you can see H2. So we've got two hydrogens for O, for every one oxygen, and that's one molecule of water. Now, carbon dioxide is made up of two elements as well, carbon and oxygen. In this case, it's written, um, this carbon, there is only one, there's no little number there, so we assume it's a one, and the oxygen, there's two of. So that two, whichever number it's next to, when it's a small number like that, it's telling you, whichever letter it's next to, it's telling you how many of that letter there is. So there are two oxygens. Now, these compounds are formed as a result of a chemical reaction, and we need to be able to write the equations. So, for example, magnesium reacts with oxygen, and it forms the compound magnesium oxide. A really simple way of writing this is in a word equation. So magnesium is a reactant, Oxygen is a reactant, and the product that it forms is magnesium oxide. That's your word equation, okay? Just to represent your chemical reaction. Now, your symbol equation would be different, and we're going to look at those with some different examples. So, you can also write them, as we've just said, with the symbols. So, we've got one here, carbon plus oxygen. Those are the reactants, make carbon dioxide, which is the product. Using our periodic table, we can see that carbon is a capital C letter, and we can also see that oxygen is O. Oxygen, um, as an element, it appears in pairs, so we always write it as O2. Now, carbon dioxide, the formula for this is CO2. You have to check that there's the same number of each element each side of the arrow. So we can look there that we've got one carbon and two oxygens as the reactants, and then the same even though it's in the form of carbon dioxide. Another example is magnesium, which is Mg, will react with oxygen, O2, and it will form MgO. Now, that wasn't balanced, so if we just pop back, if you look on this one, Mg, there's only one of, but O2, there's two, we've already said it occurs, oxygen occurs in pairs, and then when it forms magnesium oxide, um, it forms as MgO. Now you'd be given this sort of equation, but you'd then be expected to balance it. So what we need is two oxygens. Now we can't add them as little numbers, we can only add them in front of the element or the compound. So we would put our two in front of the MgO, which means we need a two in front of the Mg. So when you look at it, you've then got two magnesiums, two oxygens, 
was the reactants. And then the other side, two of each. That big two means there's two magnesiums as well as two oxygens. It's different to when it's a little two here and it's just two of the oxygen. Or like it was up here, this was just two oxygens but one carbon dioxide. When we put this number two in front, it means two of the magnesium and two of the oxygen. Okay, so looking at a more complicated equation, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid, they react together, forms magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Now we've given you the word equation and the symbol equation. So the symbol equation there is Mg plus HCl forms MgCl2 plus H2. And you've got to balance it. So if we look here first, we need two chlorines. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into two HCl, remembering we can only put the big numbers in front. And if we look at how many of each we've got, so we've got one magnesium, but now we've got two hydrogens and two chlorines. Okay, I've represented those by different colours. Now, if we look on the other side where the products are, let's see if we've got the same, but in a different arrangement because they form different compounds. And then this will tell you whether it's balanced. So look, one magnesium, one magnesium, one, two chlorines, two chlorines, one hydrogen, one hydrogen. So that's two in total and two in total here. So that's now balanced. Now you can draw it out like that in the circles underneath to help you to show that. And then it gives you an idea of whether it's balanced or not. And it should make it easier. These take a little bit of practice. So don't worry if you find them really difficult. Right. On your worksheet, there'll be a variety of these to have a go at. Have a go and see how you get on. And there's lots of different resources out there to try and practice this. Don't worry too much, just practice the balancing, okay? And try and recognise some of the more common symbols for the elements. But like I said earlier in this lesson, you will get your periodic table. Have a go at the worksheet and rewatch this video as necessary to give you a hand doing it. And we'll see you again soon.